Hi, I'm Stacy Storino. I'm a lawyer since 1998 and a certified life coach since 2015. And if you've ever been curious about the Arbonne 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond Challenge, especially the seven day cleanse version, you've come to the right place. I've never tried Arbonne products before starting this journey. So you're getting as unbiased an opinion as possible right now. And there are surprising news that I have to share already. And it's only day two of this challenge. Stay tuned for that. And for something pretty important that I've learned, which could help you on your journey, which will be discussed at the end during the wrap up. Okay, today is November 26, 2017, and in the interest of full disclosure, I am an Arbonne Independent Consultant who signed up to get the discounts on the products. Will I remain a consultant or not after all of this is over? I don't know. I'm curious to see whether this program even works out for me, and I'm inviting you along for the ride so that you get a bird's eye view of what going through a system like this is like. Now, every single day of the 30 days, I'm going to tell you what I weigh. I wouldn't normally advocate someone doing that, weighing themselves on a daily basis. I'm just doing that because I'm doing this series. Plus, each Saturday over the course of the 30 days, I'm going to take my measurements so that you can see how I'm shaping up literally. <laughs> and you're going to see what Arbonne products I took and why I took them. Finally, you'll see what I ate and drank, including details like when and why. I began my 30 days on November 25th, 2017, weighing in at 179.3 pounds. My measurements at that time were chest, 42 and a half inches, bicep, 12 inches, waist, 45 inches, hips 45 and a half inches, thigh 25 inches. Wow. Today's day two, November 26, 2017, and I've already lost a whopping 2.3 pounds. That's right. My current weight on day two is 177 pounds on the nose today. My husband Steve and I together cleaned out our fridge and every last closet of anything that would lead me astray. Plus, I cleaned off all the cobwebs from my workout gear. Ew, right? Okay, I began the day by drinking the first of two herbal detox teas. According to Arbonne's support guide for this program, the herbal detox tea contains a mild caffeine-free herbal tea with nine botanicals that support the liver and kidneys. Guess what? I hate tea, no matter the flavor, who makes it, etc. This tea is probably the best of what I've tasted. But when you hate on tea, there's only so far that will take you. That said, I brewed it up and slammed it down like a shot. Next, 30 minutes before breakfast, I took the full control product from the Arbonne Evolution line. You do not need to do Evolution at the same time that you are on the 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond program, okay? Me, personally, I felt like I needed to use Evolution simultaneously since I pretty much wanted to eat all day long before I went on this program. After that, I had my AM Energy Fizz Stick in the citrus flavor. It's a product that supports energy and delivers a mild boost of energy without a caffeinated crash. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to work because I would basically mainlined iced coffee all day long. But guess what? It worked, and it's true. There is no crash. I had plenty of energy throughout the whole first part of my day. I never would have believed it possible since nothing has ever done that for me before, and this is all natural. Okay, for breakfast, I had the metabolism support supplement from the Arbonne Evolution line, which... I hope really helps me because I've been post-menopausal now for years and I feel like my metabolism and overall energy has gone from 360 to zero before starting on this program. I took that supplement with my morning shake. Okay, and this is how I do my morning shake. My morning shake, I will have the Arbonne Essentials Digestion Plus. There, that's better focus. 
So this is only once a day they want you to do the little stick pack here. So I'm gonna just put that in first, okay? And then I'm gonna do um, some almond milk. Okay, so it's unsweetened. This isn't a paid plug for Almond Breeze, but it's unsweetened. <laughs> um, I will do, they said MCT oil is really decent to have, so I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of that, no more. And then I'm definitely gonna do, they say to start off with approximately one half of the daily fiber boost and kind of build up from there. So since they don't have like a half size, oh dear, well that's not quite a half. <laughs> Let's just scoop a little off the top there that's still dry and try and just pare it down so that it's like half, okay. So there, all right. So, and then I'm going to put this in a blender with the protein shake mix. And I'm also gonna take an Arbonne Evolution Metabolism Support Tab. Um, I'll do this again later for my, um, I'm gonna add the protein shake mix, but I'm gonna do this later uh, when I do my lunch shake, but I will not include the Arbonne Essentials. Uh, digestion plus only because I will not need it. It's only once a day. All right. Now, I went about my business throughout the day, making sure to drink approximately half of my body weight in water. I mean, seriously, I probably drained at least eight, 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 16 ounce glasses of lemon water over the entire course of the day. I wasn't sure I'd be okay with it, but wow, I made it through the day without any cravings for my iced coffee. My AM snack was a handful of almonds. I know this seems ridiculous, but that seemed filling and satisfying. I know, I know, but I'm telling you the truth. 30 minutes before lunch, I was sure to take the Arbonne Evolution Full Control product, and then I exercised. My husband and I completed a two and a half mile walk that was complete with hills, inclines, declines, the whole thing. I'm still sick as of today, but surprisingly, I finished the walk and I felt like I had enough energy, sickness notwithstanding, that I could have gone on and done more. Now, normally in addition to another shake at lunch, I would have been able to swing another protein shake if I wanted to, to use as a post-workout recovery shake. I ended up using my lunch shake as one and the same to keep the calorie count down. As a side note, Arbonne doesn't have you counting calories, uh, points, or anything like that. I also took the second and last Arbonne Evolution Metabolism Support Supplement for the day. My PM snack was a handful of cashews and grapes, as well as four celery sticks with homemade guacamole. I let the family have the rest of the guacamole. I seriously didn't feel like I needed anything else besides the lemon water that I continued to drink throughout the day. I know it sounds like I'm lying, but I'm not. Then 30 minutes before dinner, I took the last of my Arbonne Evolution Full Control Powder mixed with water. It has a great watermelon kiwi taste. Dinner was a soup that was made courtesy of a recipe that I got from a fellow Arbonne rep that consisted of butternut squash, brown rice, celery, onions, carrots, and unsweetened almond milk. Somewhere in there, I had my PM Energy Fizz Sticks in citrus. In the interest of full disclosure, I dislike the pomegranate flavor. I tried it yesterday and that's discussed in the day one video. If you missed that video, I've included the link in the show notes down below. Finally, I had my PM Detox Tea. I'm still not a tea lover, but you know what? I can deal with it. I just shrank it down fast and I have to say there's a nice peppermint-like note going on in there. I like that. Then came the 7 p.m. cutoff. No food or snacks or anything like that after 7 p.m. Was it hard? Not really. All day long I felt full and satisfied, which seems ridiculous, because in a typical day before now, I'd have eaten a truckload of food and have swilled at least four glasses of iced coffee. 
So now, the wrap-up. They used to call me Slim Stacy. Can you believe that? I was never a fat kid, fat tween, fat teen, fat 20-something. And honestly, I didn't start gaining weight until I was around 36 years old. So most of my 30s was fine, too. I'm now on a weight loss journey to drop a total of 50 pounds. I've lost 25 pounds and kept it off already. I need to lose an additional 50 to get back to my old fighting weight. I'm hoping this program continues to keep me on the right path towards reaching my goal. I could feel bad, but I'm over that. Today's advice is pretty simple. Sometimes you need to find a program and stick with it. The overwhelmed do not end up doing anything. I used to get overwhelmed or try to pick and choose an angle of weight loss and health and just work that angle, but it would never work for me, not for long. I'd be missing one of the crucial moving pieces that's necessary to really overhaul yourself uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, weight weight, weight wise, inner gut health, etc. So what I'm finding here is that a system makes things far simpler for somebody like me. And so far, simple is working nicely. So now I'm on to day three of the program, and I'm hoping at some point down the line, the real Slim Stacy stands up. See you tomorrow.